We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure the domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Who exactly are we the people? Does that include people of various ages, sexualities, genders, or races? Some communities, such as the LGBTQ plus community, were denied their full rights and were socially discriminated. LGBTQ plus members were even forced to hide their identities to avoid segregation, harassment, and violence. Before the 1967s, being gay was illegal and homosexual men would face a lifetime's worth of prison. As a result, LGBTQ plus individuals had settled in places of refuge, such as gay bars and clubs, where they could openly express themselves and socialize with each other. In 1966, LGBTQ plus patrons were allowed to serve alcohol. However, they were prohibited from engaging in gay behavior in public, resulting in constant police harassment. Eventually, on June 28, 1969, a police raid involving the arrest of 13 people who had violated laws around homosexuals had met unexpected resistance from furious gay and bisexual individuals. Within minutes, a full-blown riot had erupted involving hundreds of people, including the police. The conflict then lasted another five to six days of gay protests and rebellion. During this period of time, graffiti had appeared on the window of the Stonewall Inn. Unfortunately, half of this graffiti was erased, but appeared to read, We homosexuals plead with our people to please help maintain peaceful and quiet conduct on the streets of the village. This piece of graffiti displayed how homosexual individuals wanted to approach the situation without bothering others. This movement broke barriers as it ignited the flames of numerous LGBTQ plus individuals. Ever since then, the Stonewall Riots have been recognized as a symbol of resistance to social and political discrimination. LGBTQ plus individuals have proceeded to fight for the progression of gay rights and gay discrimination in order for their future generations to become accepted in modern society. About a year later, the Eastern Regional Conference of Homophile Organization had proposed and scheduled a march on June 28, 1970, celebrating the first anniversary of the Stonewall Riots. This march was named after the street in New York City's gay community, which these series events originated, the Christopher Street Liberation Day March. The Christopher Street Liberation Day March focused on gay pride and had an estimated range from 1,000 to 20,000 participants who had supported and commemorated Stonewall. This parade promoted the further expansion of gay rights, supporting the foundation that the Stonewall riots had already composed in breaking sexual orientation barriers. Ever since then, gay pride has been celebrated on the last Sunday in June, evolving into joyous celebrations and expanding into a month-long event. Gay pride is commonly symbolized and displayed by a rainbow flag during various pride marches, including the Christopher Street Liberation Day March. Gilbert Baker, a young homosexual man and drag queen, decided to customize a flag based on the gay pride community, as he believed that flags were the most powerful symbol to portray themselves to the world. He viewed the rainbow as a natural flag from the sky and had adopted eight different colors of stripes, each color representing different meanings. Hot pink for sex, red for life, orange for healing, yellow for sunlight, green for nature, turquoise for art, indigo for harmony, and violet for spirit. Baker and his team had decided to mass produce the flag by hand. However, due to production issues, the hot pink and turquoise stripes were removed, and the indigo stripe was replaced with the basic blue color. These distinct colors reflect both the colossal diversity as well as the unity of the LGBTQ community. The rainbow flag is currently recognized as the, an international symbol for gay pride, as it displays themselves in such a strong and ambitious way. These flags were featured in the National March on Washington for Lesbian and Gay Rights, estimating about 75,000 to 125,000 individuals. Homosexual individuals were encouraged to show their support for the rights of the LGBTQ plus community through consolidated demonstrations. The march had initially planned to ban discrimination based on sexual orientation, demanding former President Jimmy Carter to sign a bill centered around restricting homosexual discrimination in military and federal jobs, as well as Congress to include sexual orientation in the 1954 Civil Rights Act. 
March participants had also insisted on the addition of family protection laws that would allow gay and lesbian parents to receive fair custody trials, as well as nullifying anti-gay legislation. Nearly all the objectives of the march were denied, except for the ability to openly serve in the military and federal government. However, LGBTQ plus individuals still receive consistent discrimination. The march was able to establish a large network of members across the country, signifying the country to acknowledge the amount of people who identify as homosexual and providing plenty of the framework from which the 21st century national LGBTQ plus advancement and activism was built. As of the early 2000s, the U.S. Supreme Court legalizes same-sex sexual conduct and a few states authorize same-sex marriage, providing the rights and privileges of marriage between gay and lesbian couples. Earlier, a gay Wyoming teenager was kidnapped and severely beaten to death, as well as an African-American who was dragged and killed during the same year. Former President Barack Obama signed a law establishing that assaulting people of different sexual orientation or gender identity will be considered as a federal crime. Obama had also repealed Bill Clinton's Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy that had prohibited homosexual individuals from openly serving in military, and had announced the designation of the first national monument to the LGBTQ plus rights, referred as the Stonewall National Monument. This monument is located near the site of the 1969 Stonewall Uprising in Christopher Park. As the years passed, LGBTQ plus rights had advanced, such as the ability to choose a gender-neutral option for driver's licenses. The Stonewall riots play a significant role in the advancement of LGBTQ plus rights, along with the breaking of sexuality barriers. As of today, things like sexual discrimination, homosexual rights, and privileges have yet to be fully resolved. However, with the help of social media, LGBTQ plus individuals are able to protest for their rights by reaching to a broader audience and thoroughly covering their own perspectives.